as a little side note, I do carry a sidearm that is chambered, fully loaded, when I'm carrying a bunch of other weapons, because it would almost be wrong for me not to. It would be uh, irresponsible to uh, not carry a way to defend myself when I'm carrying a bunch of other firearms. So what I'm gonna do is leave the camera rolling as we leave this area. As you can see, it's pretty busy down here on a Sunday. And uh, hopefully we don't have any issues. Shouldn't. It's only two wheel drive Toyota. But it's a pretty, it's pretty good two wheel drive. I haven't really had any issues. I had once and I got stuck in the sand. So now what I do is I had those, uh, ooh look, fully auto up there. I have one of, yeah, these guys got a, like an M4 or equivalent. Oh, that kind of looks like an MP5. Uh, they probably got some money. You know, it, your cheapest machine gun, yeah, it looks like an MP5. Yeah, it's definitely an MP5. So a dude's got a fully auto MP5. All right, so this is where it gets a little hairy. Right, let's just go for it. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. Um, as I was saying, oh yeah, he's got a Barrett. Is that M60? So an MP5 will run you fifty to sixty thousand dollars. A uh, fully auto. A um, unless you put a sear in a cheaper one, then it'll cost you about eight, ten grand. Um, one of the cheapest fully autos you can buy is probably a uh, Mac 10, which is actually a pretty garbage gun. But those will cost you eighteen. You know, if you buy a uh, an M4 fully auto, you're talking 20, 25 grand. And then on top of that, you got the ammunition, which obviously isn't cheap either. So if you hear somebody with a fully auto, uh, if they're legal, um, yeah, they probably don't live uh, in, a, in a trailer. At least not full time. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's always cool to hear fully autos. Um, yeah, this is a cool area, man. It, this is probably maybe 30 minutes from my house. If that, 20 to 30 minutes. It's right up the 87. Um, one shot. The, I, I live, so the road next to me is Country Club. And Country Club turns into 87. And it's literally the road that goes right to here. So it's like two turns and then I'm here. So it's a really accessible place, really cool place. And it's BLM land. And the thing with BLM land, Bureau of Land Management, is basically, you can do anything you want. I mean, you can come out here, you can camp, you can ride dirt bikes, you can ride off-road, uh, four-wheel drives, you can come out here, shoot. I don't know if they, it, you know, somebody said that you're not allowed to blow up things anymore. Like you're not allowed to bring out Tannerite or explosives. But I don't know if that's, you're not allowed to do it or there's just regulation around it. So I'm not sure about that. You might not be able to do it because of the fire danger. Oh, little bouncy, little bouncy. Um, so that's my, that's what I do. Bring the, gun, bring the motorcycle out here and do some shooting. That's the way to do it. Right there. Yep. Um, so yeah, so this is BLM land, Bureau of Land Management, and pretty much uh, do what you want out here. Uh, it's separated two sides. This side is for shooting. So people come out here and go into these little enclaves or coves or whatever you want to call them. They set up and do shooting against the hills because you got some pretty good berms and all that. And then on the other side of the, of the 87, on the other side of the highway, is the more like the camping area, uh, dirt bike area, off-roading. That way you don't have to worry about people shooting. And I don't even think it's like marked that way. It's just people just know that. It's kind of a uh, unwritten rule that everybody here respects. So we're looking at 
10 o'clock in the morning. We got here about eight. So we did about two hours of shooting and we're heading home. Looks like a lot of the early birds that were here when I came in, looks like they're gone. Yeah, you can, as you can see, my hand's all cut up. You know, you, you tell her, like these dudes that go into battle that, that shoot all day long, man, that's gotta be nuts, totally nuts, man. Because two hours worth and my hands are ready to take a nap. <laughs> people spend like an entire day just fucking shooting anyway um today is the 20 i don't know it's like the 26th or the 27th something like that it's uh so friday's the first so it's next week so 31 30 29 yeah today's like the 26 20 might be the 27th I don't know um, 27th of October so Thursday is Halloween and uh, yeah see it's all opened up now maybe maybe coming here in the afternoon is the thing to do I always come super early but uh, I guess during football season if it's Sunday um, it'll be open out here so uh, and where I just came from, the people can get back there with, with your little uh, cars. You just gotta probably drive slower, like if you got a little Civic or, uh, or, or um, a Corolla. Now, if they're low ride, eh, you probably not. You probably won't even make it into the dirt, the nice dirt part. But, uh, so that is a Four Peaks Mountain over there. So this is the Four Peaks Recreational Area. And I always just wave to everybody. And this is an area here to the right or the left where they, as you can see, they got their little buggies and off-road stuff. Really, really cool place, man. I love it out here. I would rather be homeless here in Arizona than have a pretty good paid secure job in New Jersey that's why I'm from New Jersey and that's just I it's just an ugly state and this is just such a beautiful state and uh, it's usually nicer than this and uh, once you get into the winter because it gets green but we're just ending the summer and there's a couple fires back here so this is the 87 and this freeway literally just will dump me right onto my street where I live so, cheers. Oh, there goes a whole, a whole bunch of Jeeps. Got one of them Jeep clubs probably gonna go off-roading. That's always cool to see. A couple trucks in there as well. Yeah. It's that time of the year, man, out in Arizona, October. It's getting near the end of October, going into November. It's beautiful weather. And, uh, ain't no reason to stay home. Mm-mm.